Hello, my Tauruses, and Happy New Year to you. So I hope you watched the introduction because March is going to be the interesting month, and I also forgot that we would start Aries season at that same time, which is, again, the beginning of the astrological season. So interesting times for, you know, for interesting times we live in. So anyway, let's see what we have. I will tell you that, um, you know, I just did Capricorn, and Capricorn seems to be more of a, um, card has flipped, seems to be more of a, an overview of 2023. Another, okay, another cards are falling out. All right, um, Capricorn got this too. So if you have Capricorn in any of those uh, cross-watching signs, you know, in your, you know, you might want to take a peek at that. So let's see, higher power. What do we have? What else do we have for your Tauruses? Well, the seven of water is all about choices. You know, seven has a divine energy to it, so divine number, divine umbrella. And then the dreamer is, ha is you have to have faith, you have to believe. So I would say that either this weekend or this weekend may begin for your, for your 2023 a, a season of choices, and you will have to have unbelievable faith in higher power or, and in also yourself for you to, um, to move towards the choices. Now, for my Tauruses, the choices sometimes can feel a little bit uh, daunting. There can be choices that you, okay, two more cards have fallen. There can be some choices that you feel, I don't know which one's that, so we're going to put that this way, that you might feel a little bit scarier than more, uh, than not. Um, so I kind of feel like, um, that, you know, with, with more risk, there's a potential for a better return on investment. However, I'm not, I do not, do not take this as, um, you know, financial advice with that. Um, I will tell you that if you don't try, you know, your answer is always a no. And, you know, if it's something that in your heart you know you needed to try, um, you may want to pray on it, consider it. Now, remember, general reading, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonant, resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. But the seven of water, so water is our cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy. Uh, you know, uh, very fluid, emotional, very, very um, spiritual energy. Seven, like I told you, is a divine covering energy. So there's some, this talks about a complex decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating. But the Seven of Cups is always about finding that right choice. Um, choices will be presented and finding the one that you might want to pursue. However, too, now many times over, you know, we have paths in life, you know, and we can go into dual reality, string theory, things like that. But we choose, we are the ones that are right here at this time. So, you know, sometimes, you know, we'll start down a path and then, you know, this path is no longer an option. Sometimes, sometimes, if we're lucky, if we find that this is just, you know, as we go down that path, um, it's kind of like entering a forest, um, you know, and you're going into the forest and all of a sudden you're like, oh, this one's creepy. I do not like this energy. And so you back away or when you feel like, you know, there's just something wrong here, back away. And some, you know, sometimes that other path can be open to you. Sometimes, though, once you've decided a path, the other path is no longer an option. But the seven of water has options all over it. Um, the seven of water is like, you know, you pray on it. This is a definitely a prey energy, a prey card, okay? Because the uh, sometimes the opportunities or the the um, choices are so big that it just doesn't feel, um, you know, it just can be a little overwhelming, okay? So again, I told you a complex uh, decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating. And then we had the dreamer come out. The dreamer, this is major arcana. This is... The fool, this is the fool card. This is the start of a very spiritual journey. But it also brings lessons. It also brings um, choices. It also brings direction to us. It also tears things down in order for them to be built up. The dreamer has a very young energy. The dreamer just says, yes, we're going to do this because I know this is where I'm supposed to be. I talked about, you know, 2018. I started where I'm at now. And it was like I knew I was supposed to do this, even though it did not make sense. Okay, 
Archangel Metatron, like I said, is, or if I haven't said this, is Enoch before the flood. I have, I little know a little bit more about him, walked, talked with God, um, transfixed into the heavens. So this is all about taking a leap of faith, but following your dreams. Follow your dreams, too. Unexpected opportunities. Now, these two cards fell out. Not quite sure where we're at with any of them. We're going to take the top card first. And now we have unity. We have Archangel Sandalfin. Uh, Sandalfin believed to have been Elijah, the old, the prophet in the Old Testament. Testament. Um, you know, entry, Elijah had some very interesting energy too. Many times was very emboldened by God, did what God wanted. And sometimes it was like, uh-uh, this is too much for even me. So we have a five energy. Um, this is that Hierophant I talk about in the in the beginning. Now the Hierophant, again too, if we go back to the introduction, I talked about it being that we are transitioning from the um, the age of Pisces, which is all about, this is all Hierophant type of energy, the um, the ruling class, the rules of, of government and um, religion, very much man-made structure, okay? But again, five has that change energy. Five says, what are you going to do? I look at the Hierophant and say, I'm not accepting, I'm changing, I'm walking away, I'm breaking away from this, and I am going to, again, be the dreamer. I am going to go after what I feel God's source wants me to go with. But again, pray on it, pray on it. Sometimes, though, it is it is not necessarily traditional. Now, you may find that, you know, that the dreamer is actually bringing you into a traditional type of energy, um, where you are still able to bring some of, you know, this uh, metaphysical energy. But I always look at this as a breaking away and kind of just saying, asking God, Holy Spirit, Source, what is my direction? Where do you want me to go? Anyway, traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. So that was kind of like up there. So we'll put that one up there for the moment. Let's see what we've got going on with this last card. The Page of Air. Eh, we can't really see these, so we'll put them back here. So we have a 705, a 507. Those are our numbers. Um, zero, like I said, God source energy. The Page of Air, dual energy here. Page is underlying energy is your is your energy, Taurus, it's um, Capricorn, it's also Virgo energy. Um, and also, too, right, I think that this is more February, March. I think I, I need to look this up again, but I do believe Uranus goes direct right around that same time period that I talked about in the introduction. Um, so page of, so again, another change with that. Page is underlying energy is your energy, your job, career, um, home, tangible energy. But air is that sword energy, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Thought processes making some changes. So there is some change happening with your work, with your job, with your home. Part of it is choices. Part of it is, um, you know, believing in yourself, believing in God, feeling, you know, feeling your way. There is this, you know, whether or not you choose to go the, um, the traditional way or whether you break free from that. The page of air does find its own challenges, but still is very much um, wants to wants to uh, jump on the opportunity. Okay, the page of air is logical, honest, impulsive, and curious. Here we go. Challenging information, delay or changes to plans, truth delivered without tact. So let's see what we've got here with the John Holland cards from my Taurus. So you've got some again. I, I've been finding that sometimes the readings are very encapsulated just for the time period. Sometimes the readings go forward. Um, this could be going forward for 2023 or maybe for the next three to four months. I'm not quite sure. Like I said, take what you like, leave the rest. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we've got a card that was flipping, flip, flip, flipping. So let's see what this is all about. Oh, okay, again, reversed. This is a three. Three has celebration, creativity. It's also the power of three. Do something, say something three times. Have a couple of other people. The solar plexus chakra, again, you know, chakra system, 
chakras are all over and even outside of the body. They're energy batteries, you know, they're energy batteries in many ways. Um, we talk about mostly the seven chakras, the one through the heart is like your physical chakras. The heart, again, through the seventh is your metaphysical chakras. So the solar plexus is right below the chakra. It's that gut energy. It's that gut feeling. But it's also listening to your integrity and doing what you know to be right and not compromising. So what is it? Not compromising on what? On where? Not compromising because traditionally they tell you this is what needs to be done. I'm not, I'm not going to say it's, it is or not, but you feel it to be wrong. Or just vice versa. You feel that this is more the, you know, even though it might be very traditional, it might be the right thing to do. So again, this is integrity. This is following your integrity. So, and this can go with the choices. It can go with believing and new opportunities. It can go with your challenging information too. So interesting with that. So there's going to be some gut reactions, gut choices. Um, also following your integrity, following, you know, knowing just, you know, follow your gut. This is a lot of this has follow your gut energy. Okay. Angels of abundance. What do we have for my lovely, lovely Tauruses? I love my Tauruses. Um, I remember back, you were the first ones that um, I had a video out there and I looked and I had broken a thousand views and it was my Tauruses that did that. So thank you. Thank you. You've always had a special place in my heart. So let's see what else we have here. Reversed. Visualize abundance in all forms. And remember, we're starting a new year. This, we have so many new starts throughout the year. I mean, that is one of the things I have to say. Whoever you consider is your source, God. You know, we have, God is good. Source is good. We have always, we have new beginnings, new starts each morning. So visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such a spiritual, such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive, and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. I love that. I love that. And my Taurus is you've got a lot. You have the ability to do that. Okay. Let's see what we have, what crystal or energy, if this is for the weekend or if this is for all year, I'm not sure, or even just until we get another one. <laughs> I'm going to have to shuffle this again because it, it got caught up a little bit. Let's see, one more time. What do we have for my Tauruses? Here we are. Here we go. All right. Well, you know, this is, this is like, I, I, where is mine? I, I must keep, I must have kept it at my work. So sorry about that. But black tourmaline, tourmaline, blah, 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 protective anxiety relief, aura cleansing, self belief. I, I'm thinking I need to get myself a bracelet with this. You know, I have my other bracelets, but I need to get this too. <laughs> you know, I'm a fire side, so oh, I need it. It's pretty. You're my, you're, you're my Tauruses. So many of you are my, um, you, you just, you just know crystals so much better than me. I'm, I'm always envious of that. You have such a strong connection, but you are an earth energy anyway, and you're very psychic. Okay, so my Tauruses, take that time to like, share, subscribe, click in on the bell for notifications. Um, I want to wish you all a very happy new year. Always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.